let's see today we'll see how to create a banner animation for a mobile app i've created a small layout i've taken that frame as an iphone 13 mini one so a small design is already there so i have a banner banner uh, and then a heading and a click to action so whatever we have an image here so it is a static image you can see here background as an image. So let's see how to uh, animate this with multiple images. Like I would like to create, I would like to place multiple images and wanted to animate one after the other. Let's see. I have already that images ready with me with 375 by 4, 427 size. Now, so to create it, let's take the image, say copy and I'm pasting outside of the frame. Paste it here. We just need to convert this as a component and we can have the text top of this also if required along with the image. I do have that some quotations uh, which are re uh, related to this subject. So let us take some text also top of it. So to highlight the text, let us take a small rectangle top of it. You can see here. right let's take till here and here okay so we'd like to go with black color with less opacity let me take 50 percent you can see it there okay so let's take some text we can see here let us say copy go back to this text tool paste it here Okay, so let us paste exactly center, select both, align middle, right. So let me see uh, what is the gap here. So let us make it 16 pixels. You can hold the Alt key to see the smart guides. And we can see the text here. So 20 semi bold, everything is fine for me now. Let's select all, convert into a group group selection so now you can see that group 2 now select the group 2 and go to this create component you can see here click on this you can see the component so how do you want to create the animation like bottom to top top to bottom left to right right to left based on your you know, the choice that you can create always you can click on add variant to add another uh, image so just click on add variant you can see in the bottom so you can place it on the right hand side and left hand side also so you can see the plus symbol here to add more variants so we'll we'll keep adding them so once we update this just get inside the variant select the image and you can see the fill image let's choose the some other image not this click on that choose image i can just go back to the desktop images first image open you can see another image here so we'll change the text also let us take a small caption copy and i'm just copying and pasting it here let us make it left alignment hold the alt key to see the distance like to have that 16 pixels similar like top one right now you can select the variant two and click on this to have one more similarly just double click on the variant go to that fill color choose image and you can select that second image so based on your uh, you know the choice that you can choose multi uh, different images let's say go forth and let's change, let's update the close this come back and choose i'm just randomly taking this text paste it here it's going out of the box right so just let us take this as in two 
lines you can see here. Okay. Let's go with the 18. Right, you can see this. Click on this to add one more variant. Double click on the variant to choose the image. Go to the choose image. Select some other image. Select the text, change the text again. Copy and come back and replace this. And would like to add one more and this would be the last one for me. Double click on this. Go to that choose image. Uh, let me go with this image. Open. Close fill color. Select the text. Go back to this. Let me choose the caption. Copy. Paste it here. Let's make it two lines. All right. You can see that all the variants here, all the variants are available here. Right, total five variants that you can see all the five variants on the left left hand side panel also. So how do how do we animate them? So it's very simple. You just uh, you know select that first variant, default variant, and go to that prototype. You need to click on that prototype which is right top, and you can see interactions. You just add an interaction from here. On click, how do you want to animate them? On click or with a time delay. So I would like to animate with time delay. Since it is a banner, let us provide some time gap. And uh, uh, you know, based on that interval, the banner should get animated. Let's see here. So select the event. In the place of on click, let's go with it after delay. So how much delay that would be required? One second or one and a half second. So let's say I would like to go with that one and a half second, thousand milliseconds or is one second. So 15 mil, uh, 1500 milliseconds. Okay, you, you just need to click on this and go back here. Look at this. After 1500 milliseconds, change to that you can see here. I, I just clicked on this point and link it to that second one. You can see property one variant two automatically that it is selected all. So you just need to select this as in smart animate. Is out. So if you want to have that in insert, uh, in, in stand and dissolve, whichever you want that you can take always. If you say smart animate, you can see that, you know, a beautiful smoothing animation there. All right, let's repeat the same for all. So how, what is the duration of this animation? 300 milliseconds. So, okay, let us select the second variant. So you can hold the interaction point and link it to the third one. You can see the default interaction details. Let us make it to after delay. Let's say 1500. All are fine. So now select this, click on this and do the same thing again. 1500 milliseconds. Last one. Link it to that last variant. Let me do this after the link. All right, I have that you know the links between one to two, two to three, three to four, four to five. So all are ready now. So now this component will be uh, available in assets. Available in assets. So how do we place that asset? How do we place that component in the place of single image? Let's click on design. You can go to that assets. You can see the component here. So what we have to do is it's very simple. Just double click on this and remove the image. All right. So let's take this component and place it here. So place it perfectly. All right. Yeah. That's all we are done. So just click on play to see the preview. All right. You can see. We see the beautiful animation like 
one to another, one to another. This is how that it is possible for us to have that, you know, the nice animation. And you see that, you know, on the last image, it is not going back to that first image. I mean, it is not in loop. So let's see how do we make it loop. So it's very simple. You just need to go to that last image or, or, or let's say last variant. And you can just, oh, I'm sorry. So just go to that prototype, select this and go back to the first image. And let's say after delay. That's all. So we can just click on this and let us make sure that all are proper. Yeah. Now you can just click on play. See that now first image, second image, third image, fourth fifth last image and it should go back to the first image yeah so this will be continued forever so this is how we can create a nice beautiful banners wherever you require not only on the main page so on a menu page or products page or any other page that we can create different types of banners using that component and smart animate